feet about hip distance apart, parallel stance, toes and knees go out and in. So make sure that you keep your body tall, squeeze your back, pop your chest, squeeze the glutes, tighten your quads, keep your legs straight. Two more, last one in, hold out, small plies, just down and up. Keeping feet flat, knees out towards second, third toe, and your arms loose at your sides. Same thing, squeeze back, chest pop, and squeeze glutes. Next point, we add the arms, they just push out light and push out lightly. Think back to the hands, side of the room. Four, three, two. Let's try some triples when you do your plie. Good, and up. So three, two, one, and up. Three. Awesome, three, two, one. Cap raise, up and down with those heels pulled in and the knees pushing out or second their toe. Raise those arms. Two more. Last one, hold down, turn your toes forward, roll the shoulders up and back. Round two coming up, roll it forward. So now the feet are underneath the shoulders. They were under hips before. Take them out just a little bit. Back to the top, open, close, turn out. Squeeze glutes, tighten quads, right? Because you don't want it tip forward with bending at the knees. So straight straight legs and tall body. Hold out. Plies right here. Down and up. Again, arms loose at your side. Because you are turned out, your arms match with the front of your thigh. And the arms are turned out, yeah? That's it. Now bring the arms to the front. And when you plie, take them about chest height. Open, close, crisscross those arms when you hug them in. You still gotta keep a nice straight back though, even with a hug. Ready for some pulses? Pulse it here, pull back, warm up the back. Crisscross, pull. That's it. You should be able to sit a little lower because our feet are a little wider. Single calf raise open. So you need to just throw those arms back, lift the chest. Don't let it pull forward. Think up and up. Two more. Last one, arms down. Feet turn in, shoulder roll in the back. Nice. Final round in this first part of our warm up. Four rolls to the front. Use a bit of elbow this time. Turn toes and knees forward, but your feet are in. Shoulders, turn out and in. So now they're gonna be out a little bit wider than shoulder. This is basically your widest plie for warm up. Now I have a hard time keeping my legs straight. So if you do a little bend, it's okay. Bring it out, hold, and press out, press out. So we should be able to get pretty low because our legs are wider than shoulder width. I just got our arms loose. This time, bring them up, open and come up. You got it. And as you come up, rise. Think of touching the ceiling. Are you ready? Pulse is coming in two more. Pulse it. Now try to sit. 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 Lift up. You got her. Down and a little lower. Get those hamstrings warming up. So straight legs we've been doing for a while now. Let's get the bend in it. Awesome. Keep it coming. We're gonna finish this round with our singles. Our calf raises in this wide plie. Yeah? Single, down, throw it up, down, reach. There you go, high to low. Four, three, two, one more. Hold, come down and roll shoulders. Up and back. Two more to the back. Bring your feet in under the hips again, four forward. Here we go. Second part. Awesome. We're going to tap. Just flick out that leg in front. Toe tap. So from the side, what I'm looking for is a super long, super strong toe point. Yes? Sideways. 
Let the arms down low. First round of three. And again, super strong, long to a point. Awesome. To the back corner. With the arm raise about shoulder height. Again, from the side. Strong, strong. Yes. That's it. Four, three. Next part, swing the leg, lift three times. Two steps. Circle the arm. Three, two, one. Okay, we're still doing that long, strong toe point on the extended leg. Option. Lift, lift, lift. You can stay down for the double step. Or you can guess what's happening next. Option would be to step high in the center, like so. Lots of calf raise. So you're pushing off. Step it up, step it up, reach. Up, and up. Awesome, last time, over here. Then hold it here, hold. Back corner, back corner. Arm a little higher across your chest. Side. And think strong, strong. Bend and point, bend and point. To the front, watch my arms. So, they're open and they're pulling wide. Think lat. So upper back, squeeze behind. Awesome. Same idea as what we did to the side. Listen. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Listen. Three, two, one. So you just go. Remember, oops, which one you did. So excited, lost my mic. Front, front, up, hold, right here. Hup, hup. Bend and then point strong. Just like you're doing with those bend and extend. Strong, long point. Eight, seven, four to go. Four, three, back to the very, very top. Leg, kick, kick. Back to the top. One more time through, one more time. To the side. Let the arms just float. Bend and extend, reach your leg. Kick, kick, corner. I'm just keeping it up this time. The option is for you to touch the floor. Yes, keep going. Four more counts. Three, swing side with your double step. You can add the leap if you're ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. And if you'd like, three, turn it, two, turn it, one. And the center, go, turn it, turn it, turn it. Warm up the upper body, warm up your core. Leg is to the side. Upper body can cross. Jump. Yeah, two to go. One more. Hold, pull back, pull back. Four, three, side. Arms past the chest. Bend then point. All right, just like before. Kick three then. Double calf raise. Circle your arms. Double calf, yep. And then circle the arms. Double calf raise. Last one. And hold. Done. Warm up. All right. Let's grab our bar. Let's grab our equipment. Should be warm. We're gonna grab whatever you're using for your bar. Have your exercise ball handy. First round, arms length away, but soft in the elbow, because you don't want to put a lot of weight on your bar, yes? You want to put it in the standing leg, make that leg work, even though it's static. Parallel stance, you know this first part. We tap, we we'll start with that basic. Long, strong toe point. Now to the side, keep it low, and tap it down and down for four. Three, behind you, directly behind, because the toes, knees are facing forward. Yep, four, three, squat four times, or parallel plie. Again, knees pushing out over second, third toe. Back to the top, outside leg, it's four this time, add an arm if you'd like. 
and side arm matches leg. Leg back arm up in front, reach for that top shelf. Now two squats or two parallel plies, shoulder scoop. Let's try it again from top for two this time. And two, leg back for two, one squat, one parallel plie, yep. Don't forget to scoop with that shoulder. One big shoulder scoop. One of everything, front, side, back, and down. Front, side, yep. Front, side, back, one more. Done, round one, and fold. Good, shake it out. Second set of exercises, we're doing that three sets on one side. Let's grab our exercise ball, or block, or whatever you have. Between the knees, the parallel stance. Calf raises for two counts. So the difference now, instead of pushing the knees over third toe, like when we do plies, you need to pull the knees in. Keep them tracking forward, but pull in. Single counts, up and down. We're gonna be doing 24 pulses in a row. So take the break of flat foot during these singles. Anytime you want though, drop to flat foot. Last two. Come on up, hold up, lift, lift. Now squeeze your back, pop your chest. Try to do as minimal touching of the bar. Arm front. You got it. And up for your final eight. Six, four, three, two, and one. Release down, good job. All right, one more exercise set. You can put that to the side. We're gonna turn on an angle. So what we're gonna do, again, minimal weight forward because we want to be far enough away that we can bring our knee up in front of us, thigh parallel, and enough room so that when we lean forward, either into the wall or onto your chair, we can have a nice straight line from head, shoulder, hip, knee, back, toe. We're also going to be bringing it down and getting into a pulsing lunge. Same rules, head, shoulder, hip, and back, knee in this case, that we want the straight line. So just make sure you have some room. I'm gonna pop my chair forward a bit. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, face the front, we're gonna do a figure four. I've done these before. Start with feet parallel stance, but turn your toes and knees out in the mid first. We're gonna be swinging and circling. Then we're gonna hold up in a pulse. Then we're gonna do our turn. So we're gonna shift, boom. Okay, we're gonna hold and pulse. We're going to pulse. That's our series. So it's like five exercises with a turn in there for something fancy, something fun. So set up, outside leg, slow first. So just get into it, figure four. Try to keep your shoulders to the front. Don't let it turn with the leg in core. Two more. Hold out to the side. Lift your leg up. If you got your hand right here, you'll feel it. You'll feel it. The waist. That's it. Working your obliques. Point the toe. Drive your heel up underneath. It's 16 reps and you're almost done. Four, three, turn. Shift quick. Watch. Double knee brush. Double knee. All right. Take a second to readjust that foot. It's now parallel, okay? Instead of your turn out, your first position, it's parallel. Last one, hold up, back, freeze, and lift, lift. Think straight line, think straight line. Point that toe, long, strong point. All right, 16 counts. You're halfway, more than halfway. You're ready to step back in four, three, two. Step back, press down, and just go with a single count. Then let go of your bar and arms out, chest height, hugging. Light in the elbow, light wrist, light fingers. We're gonna pulse in four, three, your arms, check them out. Open, up, open, front. If you don't like arms, leave them in one position and just hit it with the legs. Yep, two more. Last time, front, open, hold. Boom, nice, shake. Good job, round one on the one side, done. Move your bar to the other side. First round, our toe tap sequence. Second exercise, okay, our calf raises. Third exercise, set, 
Okay, pulse, and then front. So let's start, arms length away, soft bend at the elbow, feet parallel, hand waist and tap. Eight counts, first time. Long, strong point. To the side, keep it low. Yep. Four, three, take it back, directly behind. You should feel the back working, so suck tummy in harder. Four, three, two, squats. Or think parallel plie, pushing the knees out. Back to the top, tap front for four. Add an arm if you'd like. Three, two, and side. Squeeze your back, pop your chest, relax the hands. Behind you, reach for the ceiling, reach for the sky. Squats, shoulder scoop. Tap it two this time. This side for two. Take it back for two. One squat down the time. Shoulder scoop, hold it, and again, two. And two. And two. One. Are you ready? One of everything. One of everything. Front. Side. Walk around that hip joint. Front. And that parallel squat. That squat. Belly to thigh. Go for it. One more. Done. Round one. Hold. Grab your exercise ball. Round two. Only difference, right, is now pulling the knees in instead of pushing knees out over second, third toe. Parallel stance, lift for two. You got her. So we're gonna do another three sets, and we're gonna do the same exercise, except we're gonna change the position. But for now, singles, up and down eight. And we'll try no arms, on or no holding our bar. We'll give that a try. For now, we're working that one side. Just working on our balance. Ready, set, up and pulse. First set of eight. We got three sets of eight. Start practicing letting go. All right, this is second set of eight. Four, three. Arms up for your last set of eight. Reach up for the ceiling. That's it, up. Four, three, Two and one, release it down. Ball goes away. Okay, that parallel stance, turn your toes and knees out. Right away, let's hit it. Turn, hey, into it. So we got a slight turn out, okay? Really keep the shoulders to the front. Feel it in your core. Last one, hold it side, pulse up. 16, and feel it right at the ace there. Pull your heel up underneath. If you relax your foot like this, okay, you're not going to feel it as much. Pull your heel up underneath. Get ready to turn in three, in two, in one. Check it out. Double knee, brush. Adjust your position. Adjust your distance. Sweep back. You're going to feel it in the low back. You can swing really hard and you don't hold your core. Fill that belly in. One more. Bring it back. Hold it back. Freeze. 16, 15. Long, strong point. Head, shoulder, hip, knee, and toe. Eight, seven, get ready to step back into your lunge. Four, three, two, one, down. All right, just singles first. Adjust the feet, and then let go. Loosen it up, get ready to pulse. In four, three, two, you pulse, you go. Open, up, open, close. Sit into that back leg. Feel your back glute squeezing the whole time. Yep. One more. Arms open and freeze. Boom. There it is. Shake it out. Good job. Let's do some quick stretches before we move on to the next set. So let's do a figure four stretch for the hip. Cross one leg. Have a seat. Relax. Wiggle the toes. You can rotate the foot a couple times one way, a couple times the other way. And then if you can, chest down towards your leg to feel the stretch in the hip. Four, three, same leg. Come on up, grab it behind. Leg close together. Squeeze the glutes. Pull your heel in. Try to feel the stretch in the quad. Do that long, strong point. A lot of it's a straight leg. So let's stretch that. Next stretch, leg crisscross behind, side of the body. Flat foot, super straight leg. Same arm comes up the side, up and over side, C curve. In the studio, I like to hold hand on the bar and then fingertips to the wall. 
give you a target. Awesome. All right, inner thigh stretch. You finish it, you step out with this outside leg away, and you're actually gonna stretch inner thigh and the other leg. Come on up, shake it out, switch your bar to the other side, do your stretches on the other side. Drop my ball. All right, so four stretches. Figure four, crisscross, have a seat, wiggle toes, rotate the foot a couple times one way, a couple times the other, loosen it up, and then for the hip stretch, chest comes down as much as you can. You should feel tension at the hip, and when you stretch, it should dissipate. If it's still tight, tight, even after 30 plus seconds, ease up. It's better to lengthen through your torso rather than trying to come down, try to extend somewhere else. Okay, three, two, one. We're gonna grab that foot behind, stretch number two. So trying to bring your leg in close. You may find one side easier than the other. That's pretty common. Squeeze the glutes, hips and wrists forward. Pull your heel towards your glutes. Try to feel the stretch in your quad. Four, three, two, one. That leg goes behind, crisscross, straighten out. Same arm as the leg back, comes up and over and side C, so shoot your hip out, and take your arm over, think fingertips to your wall, and hold. Last one is the inner thigh stretch on four, three, two, one, come up, leg uncrosses and goes wide, and slide this one out, and chest down like you're doing the figure four, right? Feel the inner thigh. All right, good job. We're gonna hit that second set of three sequences. Come on up. Let's leave it on that side. Very similar. We start out in our turn out. So our mid first. And we're gonna go into the circle sweep. You've done this one before, or you might not have. But we sweep three times with a hamstring flick in the back, pulling that heel up. On the third one, we step back, we point the toe, we do a single leg squat and a leg lift. So what you're trying to do is keep your legs straight and crunch at the same time as your single leg plie. Okay, and then we do the same thing. We'll do three, four rounds, four, four sets. All right, so start off, close the knees, do your turnout, the tall, and we wait for the top of the phrase. Here we go, you circle sweep, three, flick, two, flick, one flick and hold, step back, prepare your toe, long strong point, you got it, that's all we gotta do. But we got three more times. Step down, let's do it again. The last two, we can add an arm, which basically we'll just hold out and up. Hold here, step and lift. I did an extra one, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> all right, step, here it is. Three, two, one, step back, arm comes up, boom, prepare, and that's what I meant to do. Two more. Back to arm down in the front and sweep. Flick. Flick. Hold. Step back, arm up. Last set here. One more. And done. Shake it out. Second round. Set exercises. Grab your exercise ball. Exactly what we did before, except in a turnout this time. So start with parallel but then draw your heels in, okay, versus turning toes out. Give that a try, pull heels in. You have to adjust the ball somewhere up between thighs. It's a little bit easier, because obviously the thigh is thicker than the knee joint, so that'll hold a little better. And we're just gonna go with a two count. Now what we wanna try to do now on these ones is let go. So remember, it's up, not forward. So you have that balance, yeah? Singles, by balance I mean quads tight, glutes tight, core tight, back tight. So you got a back and a front and a back and a front. That'll keep you up. All right, let's pulse it. Up. Anytime you want though, put a hand down. No shame in the game. That's it. First round of eight. Arms here. You got it. Pushing up, up, arms up for your final 
lift. So squeeze your back. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Last four. Three, two, and one. Release it down. Very nice. We're going to keep the ball. Step forward of your uh, bar. And we're going to go into our traveling plies. Okay. So we're going to step out three times. On the third one, we're going to pulse and pull in. Then we're going to step out three times. On the third one, we're going to pulse, 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 pull in. Don't worry too much about the arms. You could do hands in and do rotator cup. You could do open close instead of a chop. Nothing wrong with that. You could do anything you'd like with that. It's the plie I'm going for here. So, start in, turn the heels in, just like before, but this time they're gonna touch. Right? You're gonna step out, you're gonna touch. You're gonna step out, you're gonna touch. You're gonna step out the biggest one, pull back in, okay? I'm gonna go another shot, but you go for it, okay? Here we go. We're gonna step out a little. Bigger. Biggest one we got for three, two, one, pull. So when I do my pulsing arms, I just bring them up to over my head. It's almost like I'm doing some pullovers. So think back, squeeze your back, pop your chest, then pull down. Yes, and then draw that leg in. Three, two, last one, pull down, shake. Fantastic. Okay, let's switch sides. Everything on this side. So let's run it again. This is our three, sweep, hold, prepare, single leg plie with a long leg crunch, four times. Then our set of calf raises with a turnout, no hands, and then finally our traveling or side lateral plies with pulsing and some arm work. And this is just really to hold as if you're doing your port de bras or your first position. Right, so we're getting a little bit of work. Focus though is in the core. So let's start. Parallel stance, turn out. Let me wait to the top of the phrase. Okay, here we go. Three, flick. Two. Hold this one, step back. It's still turned out, still turned out, and lift. Four counts. Keep that leg up, long, strong point. You got it. Step down, we go again. First two are just kind of practicing it. If you're feeling the arms already, go for it. Boom and boom and lift. Big crunch. Uh, you should feel an ab crunch there. All right, you ready? Scoop, hug, flick. When you come down, plie, then lift. Hold this one, freeze, and you step back, arm up, and there you go. Squeeze back. So don't let your arm go in the front. Yeah? Squeeze. Awesome. Step down, same thing. It goes round. Down, up. Kick the butt. Hold this one. Step back, arm up, and present that new point. Lift. This is it. Last two times. Nice. And stop. Arm comes down. Grab your ball. Parallel stance. Turn the heels in. And no hands. Two counts. Lift. So lifting heels, but at the same time, think about pushing the ball of your foot down like you want to drive a hole into the floor under the balls of your feet. Singles. Eight. And remember, tight quad. Glute squeeze. Squeeze your back. Pull the belly in. That's it. Ready, set. 24 pulse. Let's hit it. First round. Hands low. Hands low. That's it. Pick a spot there. Four. Three. To the front of you. Hug. You're squeezing the back even though it looks like rounded arms. Yes? Four. Three. Arm. That's it. And some round. Finish strong. Four. Three. Two. And one. Down. Hold. Nice. Keep your ball. First position. Heels in. Let's hit it. And go one around. Boom. Boom. Pull. Bigger. You got it. I'm going to do them small. Just like you kind of stay in the shot. Big 
thing is to keep the feet flat on your plies. Don't let your heels come off the floor. Four more, let's go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Last two times, get it, go. Pull tight, bend, stand tall. Three, two, one. That's it. Last round. Hold. Shake it out. Good job. All right, where are we at? We're almost there. So, you can get rid of the ball, and we're going to move ourselves so that we are able to do calf raises in a plie position in our widest plie. So, if you still need to hold something on the side, that's cool. Let me show you what I mean in the front. I move my chair, and I'm going to use that as my guide. My feet need to at least be wider than my chair legs, and then I turn my toes and knees out from there. And we're going to be working some calf raises, we're going to be working some plies, and we're going to work some plies in the calf raise. All right, so a little bit of sequencing. But first, calf raise, doesn't matter which one. So we lift the heel. So the difference is here, instead of you trying to rise up, you're just lifting lower body, keep this nice and steady. Same arm in a front raise. And the trick is to not let your arm and your leg pull you either forward or to the side. Two more. Give them a break. Let's do squats or plie two by two. So we should be able to get pretty low. And when your legs are this wide, your body stays up. When it's a parallel stance, your body tips forward. This one, keep it up. What I like about this, using the chair, if I cheat or I get tired, I'm gonna hit that chair. So don't hit it. I said we're giving those calves a bit of a break. Push the knees out over second, third toe, especially at the bottom of your plie. All right, check it out, round two. I lift up, now both, and down and down. I lift up, I lift up. Now I'm adding the rise, the actual calf raise. Boom, and boom. All right, if you're feeling the arms, up, up, down, and down. Hold, that's it. Doesn't really matter which one goes down first. I just kind of go back to my starting side. Here's your last one. Cool. Squats down or plie. Woo. All right, how we doing? How we doing? Here's your final round. So listen up. It's going to be calf raise, calf raise, and then two single plies while you're up there. Watch. Calf raise, calf raise, down two, then one heel at a time down. Boom, boom. Yes? Lift, lift. Down, two singles while you're up in that calf raise. Keep going, lift, lift. I put this really fun flooring down and my feet are slipping. <laughs> I did not put on my bar socks that are grippy. Woo! You got four more. If you'd like, try the arm. Oh, woo! Ah, there we go. Then you're gonna go. Push those knees out, second, third toe. Two more, two more, you're almost there. Up, up, two plie singles. Feel that burn. One more time. Up, up. There it is, there it is. Last one, down and down. Woo, shit. Amazing, amazing calf stretch. Good job, y'all. Take your legs your bar or whatever to whatever side you like because we're doing the sides profile for your stretch i'm showing you side profile i should say so parallel stance arms length away i can push a little bit into my chair or my wall i'm going to take my one leg whatever leg i'd like and take it back straight remember think of head shoulder hip back knee and foot in this case your heel and i'm gonna lean do like a push-up forward keeping that back foot flat on the floor to get that calf stretch started Four, three, two, come on up, switch, parallel stance, take your leg back so that your head, shoulder, hip, and back knee all stay in a line. So you don't want to bend, you don't, don't do bend this way, 
this bend knee is not wrong, but try to keep it straight. See if you can feel the stretch. This one will cover the big calf muscle, one that crosses your knee, and then there's one that crosses your ankle. Okay, if you keep your foot flat in the back, keep the legs straight, you should hit both. Keep holding, four more counts. Four, you can lean. Three, two, one, and release. Good, shake it out. All right, we're gonna grab our chair. If you want, you can stand up to do these. It's the same ones we did standing. I'm just gonna show you sitting in the, seated in the chair. Figure four, you know this one. Crisscross, wiggle the toes, rotate a couple times one way, a couple times the other way. Perfect, that leg now is gonna go behind. So you gotta shift over, one butt cheek on, one butt cheek off, and go for a stretch. So from the side, looks like this. Long leg, just like when you were standing. So rather than a knee bend, a lunge, go long. Try to stretch here. Same arm as the leg, remember IT band stretch. Similar idea, side C curve your body with that leg back. Imagine you're touching that wall. Hold it here, four counts. Four, three, two, and one. Release that, and then let's do the other side. Big four, first, so back to the center. Crisscross, wiggle toes, rotate a couple times one way, a couple times the other way. And remember to get your hip, you lean forward until you feel that tension in the hip and then you stay there and breathe through it. It should dissipate. If not, ease up and pop your chest more. And you'll feel that tension, but not as aggressive. Awesome, come on up. That leg's gonna go back. Shift over to that side, one butt cheek on, one off. Stretch out like that. Push your foot down, lift your knee in and up. So again, think tight quad. Squeeze the glutes, open up through the hip. Okay, feel that hip stretch, flexor stretch. Same arm, same leg. Comes up first, so long through the torso. And then we're going this way. C curve, upper body. Stick the ribs out on the side. Keep pushing that back full foot. Keep pushing that back foot. Breathe. Four counts quick. Four, three, two, and one, release it. Good job, come back to the center. Take one knee up and then hug it in. Wiggle your toes one more time. Rotate, a couple times the other way. Switch, same thing, pull that knee in. Wiggle your toes, rotate. Okay, almost there. A couple back stretches. Feet come down, you're gonna hug underneath. So you can either hold on or you can clasp your fingers once you get under and pull. So from the side, it should look almost thick hunchback. Hunchback. Awesome, have a seat up. Sit to the edge. Legs at least wide as the chair. And you're gonna slide one hand down the inside of your leg, down towards the floor, pushing your shoulder forwards. And feel that stretch. Come on up, slide the other way. Four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Center, one foot flex. You're still on the edge. Reach for your toe. You can stand up and put your foot on the chair. Kind of the start of our hamstring stretch. Switch, other leg. Awesome, come on up. One more time during the slight changes. We're just gonna turn, and you can either grab your leg, grab the chair, you can put your arm around the chair. Think rotation. You did lots of side. Now let's do rotation for the spine. Other side, same thing. So you can turn and hug. You can hug the chair. Get that one arm behind you and then pull. But keep your legs to the front. Breathe through. Three, two, one. Center release. Back the legs out. This time, when you come down, push that leg out. So use your elbow and dig out. Just go for that inner thigh stretch while you're seated. Come on up, switch, slide down, foot head, shoulder, think low, push. Awesome, coming in, up. Let's stand to do that hamstring stretch. If you want, you can stay seated. So 
you can go like that. You can go higher. Think chest down, just like with a figure four. Feel the hamstring stretch. Come on up. Switch your leg, other leg. So again, you can sit for this one, remember. Or put your foot up wherever you like. And then bring chest down and feel it back of the thigh. Alright, slow release. Jump, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna come to the floor real quick. We're gonna use the exercise ball. So again, if you have a yoga block, this works as well. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit more for the core. We're gonna go into some rotation and we're gonna go into some pullovers in a V position. Okay, option will be to take your feet off the floor anytime. I'll show that second, but absolutely start with the feet down. It's so actually, I'm putting this at the end here, kind of like a, almost like a cool down flowy type idea, but still think of it bar in terms of long, strong points, squeeze your back, pop your chest, core tight, etc. okay? So if you don't wanna hold anything, you can just do prayer hands, clasp hands, clasp whatever you'd like. I'm gonna hold my arms in close. I'm gonna rotate. Come back to the center and rotate. So I've got toes pointed, long strong point, and I'm in a V position, so I'm always tilted back. But if you need to, sit up in between, like so. If you need that extra break. But we're almost there. Four more slow. Three more counts slow. Last two counts. Now we go single side. And I'm gonna extend my arms and see the difference from that and the bend. Point toe, okay, keep them nice pointed. Option, add a leg. Okay, if you don't point on the floor, that's cool, but point when you kick your leg up. Long, strong point. Last two. Almost, last one, hold. Straighten legs, flex your feet, forward fold like in Pilates. You can even put the ball on your toes or put it on your shins, whatever you like. And then forward fold. Four, three, two, one, come on in. All right, same thing, only difference is your option is going to be to beat it through the leg. So you could take the tip back more, feet through, back through okay option straight straight okay so let's try that to finish then we'll stretch and then you'll be good to go okay yes two minutes so same idea i'm gonna extend come up go slow so even if this foot on the floor is flexed point this one Okay, eight, up, seven. I got a long arm, but if you need to, bring it in and keep it nice and close, but you gotta lift that leg up. Okay, four to go. And up. Okay, big long leg, big long ballet legs. Yeah. Can we go quick? 16. So sit up, but you stay in the V. Make sense? Kick your leg, it goes back. Eight more, finish strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, good job, flex. Let the run of the ball. Go for the stretch. Curl toes, tuck chin. And try to come down low. My mic's gonna give me feedback if I do it, so. See? <laughs> so I'm gonna flatten my back and then I can feel the stretch without me having to necessarily come all the way down. Okay, same stretch as we did seated to finish, okay? Have a seat up. Remember the rotation? Cross one leg over this time, lie on the floor, turn.
turn and either pull on your leg or take one arm around or add a push. Okay, so we want to get that rotation similar to what we did on the chair. Four, hold three, two, and one. Release, we'll switch. Crisscross other way. Turn and pull, this is number one. If you can get an arm around and press, that's two. If you can add a press at the top as well, go for it. Sit up tall, breathe through your stretch. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Release, all right, we did some inner thigh, remember? We're gonna do butterfly. So soles the feet together. Push your knees down by squeezing your back and popping your chest, then lower arm matches lower leg and you press. Same rules, if you can bring your head down, round the back to do it. If you can't, just pop the chest more and press your arms into the legs. Hold here, four, three, two, one. Release, shake, and then one more back stretch, one more time. Flex your feet, forward fold, chin tucks in. Just pull on your feet, pull on your legs, pull on something to get that stretch. It's the same thing when we did this. The hunchback, that's what I want you to do. Reach for something and pull, even if your knees are bent. Go for it. Last four, three, two, and one. Come on up, shake it out, and that is it.